Today is Friday, February 25th, and this is Citrus TV Now. It's currently 18 degrees and snowy here in Syracuse. I'm Adam Campos. Here's what you need to know. In a campus-wide email this morning, Chancellor Kent Severud said that the university is taking a series of actions to support Ukraine and the entire SU community. According to the email, the student experience team has already reached out directly to the students from the region to offer individual help. The Chancellor has also asked for the support from Boris Gudziak, the former SU alumni and Archbishop of Ukrainian Archiparchy of Philadelphia. The snowstorm slammed the northeast side of Onondaga County. The winter storm warning continues until 4 this afternoon. Schools, businesses, and flights continue to be greatly affected. SU and SUNY ASF opened at 11 this morning, and five different public libraries are closed in central New York. Flights arriving to Syracuse were canceled from various cities. The CDC is officially relaxing the guidelines on face masks today. Most Americans are now no longer expected to wear masks indoors and in public settings. The guidelines are moving away from focusing on case counts. Regions with potential danger in overwhelming their healthcare systems are still recommended to keep wearing masks. This danger of system overwhelming applies to just 30% of the U.S. And coming up on Live at 6, students can now sign leases to live in the Marshall for next year. SU bought the apartment complex from private investors last year. Citrus TV reporter Zach Richter will be outside the Marshall to break down more details about what students can expect. That's all the time we have for you this evening on Citrus TV Now. For more of the latest, follow us at Citrus TV News on Twitter or check out our website at citrustv.com. I'm Adam Campos. Have a great weekend, Syracuse.